That's a scary face, isn't it? Hello, hello. Hit him with a hi. Thought I would do a little... I did the show update yesterday. Today, I thought I would not only do an update to tell you and remind you about tomorrow's show, but also thought we might as well look at this month's Lucky Tackle Box and this month's Mystery Tackle Box. What is going to be in them this year? What up, brother? Butch, my boy. So uh, you know that both of them are uh, a subscription that you pay $14, $15 for. I think that's what the, the rate is. There's actually a new one coming out called Monster Bass that our good friend Gary Abernathy is not, I don't want to say he's in charge of, but he's in charge of the marketing. So anything that Gary has to do, I'm all in. But they're trying to do it a little bit differently. They're a little bit more expensive. They're, uh, the Monster Bass starts at like 34 bucks, uh, which is what I think the Mystery Tackle Box and the Lucky Tackle Box, what the um, Pro Boxes are. Let me move things around. There we go. So there's, you know, it's a little bit more. But for good day. Oh, from Luke. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well down under. So Lucky Tack Box and Mr. Tack Box is like Christmas in the, in the middle of the, of the month. But the more and more I get from these, and I've subscribed for close to two years, the more and more I find that these boxes are the stuff I give to y'all. So it's like I'm paying 15 bucks to give away the stuff you get. There's very few things that I get in here that I go, first off, that I would pay for, uh, second off, that I would use, and third, it just seems easier just to give it back to the fans of Fishing and Florida Radio. So that's going to be my question today. If you're a subscriber, first off, here's what we'll do. We're going to show which what's in here. Then I want to, well, I want you to comment and tell me which one is better. Is Mystery Tackle Box better? Is Lucky Tackle Box better? Then I want to tell me, do you think it was worth fourteen ninety five? Because if I'm not using, or you, these products might not get used. Or I, you want to know what? I I watched somebody else do an unveiling, and they said not only is it something that I wouldn't buy at the store. That when I add it all up, even though it might be twenty or thirty dollars worth of tackle, you know, it cost me fourteen ninety five. The problem is, is that when I deduct the things that I would use, it's it's like five dollars worth of stuff. So let me move this a little bit closer. So there's some some things, some weird things going on. That's all. Now the, the monster tackle box, which is uh, thirty four bucks, is going to have eight well-named uh, products because sometimes you get stuff in, in these boxes that you question where they came from or they all came from one company like last month, which is a, another flaw in the system and the flaw in the thing. So we'll start off by going through, I got Lucky Tackle Box yesterday. Comes in this nice box, and what's cool is I look forward to this. To be honest, I there I'm always hopeful that there's going to be something in here that I'm going to go crazy for. So this month's lucky tackle box, we're going to start off with a finesse kit. Now this has some drop shots. It looks like uh, some maybe. Weight stoppers. It looks like it's made for if you are a fan of wacky rigging soft plastics. That's what this looks like. This is what you need. It's also, um, it looks like it maybe it's from Mystery Tackle Box or designed for Mystery Tackle Box or Lucky Tackle Box, excuse me. So there you go. Let, uh, and uh, let, hold on a second. The other problem that this is is again for like the third or fourth month in a month in a row, Lucky Tackle Box doesn't give me any explanation of what is in it or what it costs. They just throw it together 
put the nice toilet paper on. So that that's a thumbs down right there. They've already lost this month. But this happens every month. This is a flaw in the system of Lucky Tackle Box. But, because who knows? I paid $15. I don't know if this is worth $15. You want to know what? The same guy that I watched the other day said, I'm going to go check how much this is online in the best price and then find out what everything is worth. So, we got the finesse kit. I'm not going to use this. We have the Sen Shi propeller prop bait. Let me put that like this. Are they racing outside my front door? Sen Shi prop bait. Kind of nice. A little bit different. Then we'll have, oh yeah, obviously some smart baits. These change colors. And these would be, you know, you, there's one, two, three, five in the pack. That would be for to go with these, I would imagine. Some, um, these are, what color are they call them? They're called smart baits. They don't really have a change. I'm not a big fan of Prop 8s either. Let me add this. What a neat hat. What is the emblem? The neat hat is Tackle Webs, the icon hat. How do you not know that? That's the icon for Tackle Webs. You call yourself a fan. So, we have uh, some Cinco's. That's all right. I don't mind those. We always get some hooks. So, these ones are the Ultra Light... Ultra Lock Light for soft plastics. They give you a couple hooks. And then some Hula Sticks June Bug from Z-Man. Now, I like that. But, if we're looking at it... My God, there's people outside making a ton of noise. We have... This is, this is what we got this month. Excluding the, the hooks. This is what came in this month's Lucky Tackle Box. So, what do you think? And we don't know how much everything costs, like normal. Mystery Tackle Box came in just this afternoon. What is in there? Well, first they give you a price that tells you how much everything is worth. Yay! You always get a sticker. Give these to my little boy. They give you some tips and tricks from... Dibble? I agree, Hammer. I agree. So we'll start off. Of course, some hooks. You always get hooks in these. You can't see it because I had to get a light so you guys could see my damn face, and now it's blowing everything out. Less. Blame that on him. Must add hooks. All right. Okay, some Game Changer Lures Eel Eminator. Can you see those? Yes. Never heard of this one. These are in Watermelon Red Flake, and it is a 8-pack. When he's not, and I'll read it to you, when he's not wrecking big ones on Falcon Lake or whooping... Beep in karate tur tournament, Steve Parks designed fishing lures. After creating some of the hottest baits on the market for other companies, he started Game Changer Lures to bring the next wave of innovation to the industry. So there you have it. Worm hooks are always good. You're right, Hammer. We have a... Diving Jerkbait from Castacket, Cast, I don't even know how to say that word. Castac, see if I can get it all in there. There you go. Not bad. I don't mind that. I like those at the last ones, so I'll try those. We got a another game changer, Thrash Master. Looks like it is a, uh, for the bass, it's called a Blue Crawl. 
Oopsie, sorry you didn't see it. Kind of a football jig. Nice. Not bad. Can't have enough of these, in my opinion. And then last but not least, a Lunker City green pumpkin. Looks like they might be lizards. No, I don't know. Yeah, no, they're crawfish. Oh, actually, look at those. That's not bad. Oh, I like that. Surprise, surprise, surprise. That ain't my finger. Pull those off. That's what she said. Get these all off. That's all right right there. That is all right. Can you see that without my big paws? How about that? That. There you go. Not bad. I could do something with this. I like these uh, little gill phalanges. That's really what they're called, gill phalanges. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> I'm actually embarrassed that I know that. So, not bad. So you got the... Well, how many are in there? One, two, three, four. Pack of Lunker City baits. The football jig. The lure. These. And the hooks. $15. And they gave you exactly what everything is worth. So... The Cast Black Dying Jerk Bait is $8. The Game Changer Lures Trash Master, which was the football jig kind of thing, was $5.50. Same with these lures were $5.50. The Lunker City Osmo was 4 bucks, And then the Soft Plastics were a couple dollars. So, not bad. Our, if you got this in the mail, would you be happy? There's the first question. Comment below later on after the show's done, after this is done. Tell us what you think. Would you would you would you buy this? Do you want it for free? If I'm gonna give it away, I'm gonna give it to somebody who's on here. Would you take all of it? Obviously you'll take all of it. But is it worth it? Now the next one that we get will be the first month. Now the guys from Lucky Tackle Box, the COO or the CFO or whoever it is, CEO of Lucky Tackle Box has left Lucky Tackle Box and started his new one called Let's see. Nope, that isn't it. That isn't it. That isn't it. There it is. Monster Bass. Monster Bass. And they're promising eight, eight name brand stuff in there. Put me in, Coach. Yeah. So they're going to have Live Target, Rattletrap, Rage Tail, all sorts of name brand things in this box. It shipped yesterday. So we'll have that Monday or Tuesday. Okay, if you missed what happened today, the new video dropped. Mic drop. For the shock blade. I don't... Oh, I do have one. Here it is. Here's the exact one I'm showing you the picture of. This thing did some damage. Now, I'd love to say I have a great video for you to watch, but the freaking, and I won't swear, GoPro froze. So, I'm justifying that tomorrow. But I'll still use the GoPro as much as I can. But you sh you can see the video on YouTube. Go to youtube.com slash fishing Florida radio and check it out. I try real hard on those videos, so I hope you guys, I hope you enjoy them. But that's it right there. I don't have the, it's the shockwave from, um, I threw away the thing. I don't even know who it's from. Anyway, it's on, it's on YouTube. Who cares? Make sure you subscribe. That's the whole thing. Subscribe. If you want some free tackle, we have boxes of dart spins and dart spins pros and flying pencils and flying poppers from the band anglers. 
All you got to do is go to the, the channel. Hey, Tony. And, and uh, subscribe and do that. I did a very good thing. It's the Picasso. You're right. Thank you, Les. Did I update my GoPro firmware? Yes. I've talked to them about it. I called them and spent like two hours talking about it. I think it's going to come down to, I bought an even, I used, I got the GoPro flash card or SD card that they sold up, sold me. I upgraded to another SD card because it was faster. I've now upgraded to an extreme plus that's even faster. And they think that might be the issue. Um, but it still doesn't help because you want to know what? If you could have seen the fish I caught yesterday on that Picasso lure, you you would have run. Everybody would have run out and went and got them. I did that well yesterday. My last fish was a pig, and I didn't have anything to show for it, which is life. I don't care. But it's nice when you do these videos if you have those things to show. So go to YouTube channel, check out that Picasso lures, the uh, the shock blade, Aaron Martin's A A Ron. Oh, bird just went by. Joking. Um, helped design it. He was in collaboration of it. And it, it, it did really well. You're going to see a, a side by side by four way of four different uh, chatterbaits coming up. Yes, I remember you said the SIM card, but I've already changed the SIM card twice. So I don't know. I, you know, it makes. It shouldn't happen. That's what it comes down to. Really want to know what you have to do? Here's a, here's a tip for GoPro people. Don't delete the stuff off your GoPro. Put it in your computer with your chip and format it like that. That's the way to do it because that, I'm finding out that is might have been the issue. But it still doesn't matter because it still happened and it still sucks because I missed all that stuff. I had underwater footage of me putting the fish in. It was It was wonderful. Not anymore. Okay, YouTube. If you want some stuff, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Go to our Facebook page, like the page, and send us a private message. Or, if you feel better, just email us, info at fishingfloridaradio.com, and just say you saw one of our videos and I'd like some of the stuff. If you want a dart spin, a dart spin pro, flying popper, or the pencil from a band of anglers, you need to state that that's the stuff you want. If you want, well, bam, stick eyes. You also need to email us, send us a private message on the Facebook page. I sent out a ton of these today. And by me, by that, I mean a freaking ton. Those are limited. People that want one of the prize packs, I'm going to throw one of those in. I'm just going to drop it in. They're going to be there. When they're gone, they're gone. I'll order more at some point in time, but for right now, I'm not, not going to do it. Okay. Giveaways. I've talked about YouTube. Subscribe. Talked about Facebook. Good job. Talked about giveaways. Excellent. Talked about stickers. Yes. Talked about the Picasso Shockwave. That went up today and more videos coming soon. Great. Tomorrow's show. In studio. Well, first, Captain Mike Ortego won't be there. So it's going to be a little odd in the first hour. It'll be me, Les, and Boudreau. So there's a good shot that I'll either kill myself or we'll get through it for an hour. We'll see what happens. But first hour, we're going to talk saltwater fishing. At 7 o'clock. Jason, send us a private message. I'll make sure you get one. Tony, you got one. I know for a fact you got one. I put one in the mail for you. 7 o'clock. John Cox. Just one in Chickamauga. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Third ranked angler in the world right now. Third. He's got a chip on his shoulder, too. We'll talk about all of that. We'll talk about FLW. We'll talk about Major League Fishing. What happened? But at, we'll find out everything because he's a great dude and one of the best anglers on the planet. No, it isn't going to be just Les and Boo. We can't have that. The, trust me, we lost thousands of listeners that week. Tony, yes. Also, in studio, cooking from the boathouse. I have his graphic right here. Hold on. Chef Bob. Oh, bling! I don't know how to turn the other one off. There you go. Chef Bob, executive uh, executive 
chef from the boathouse, Bob Getcha, will be in. Michael, thank you for enjoying the show. Then at 8 o'clock, none other than, right there, oops, he's getting overseen by Bob, Brandon Cobb, just one on Lake Fork. So, that's going to be a good one, too. Yes, Chef Bob. Les hit the salt water yesterday, so today, so we'll get, he'll have some tips. Probably not, but he'll, he'll tell a story that, uh, you at least, you'll might find entertaining. But you, you know what? He'll talk at least. Boudreaux. So that's what we have going on tomorrow. We have lots of giveaway stuff. And then next week, seriously, it's not going to be the most exciting show of all time next week. However, if you're a fan of us, and you're a fan of maybe fishing poles, I mean, you need them. You need them. There's a possibility we're going to give away a few on the show the week after. I can't explain it. I'm just going to tell you right now. We have the man coming in, and he sent me boxes of stuff, swag, all sorts of stuff. Hey, Andrew, you're going to be very happy. Very, very happy. No joke. We'll do all that next week on the show. Jonathan, yes. It's going to be, tomorrow's show is going to be good. The week after is going to be good too. Tomorrow, Brandon Cobb, John Cox, and Chef Bob. Who smoked them today? He smoked them. By the way, he sent me a video of him cooking chicken wings. It was ridiculous. Uh, Steve, who is that? Chelsea Blakewell? Heard of her? I have not heard of her. I apologize. So, listen tomorrow, 6 to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I heart app. There won't be a live show. There won't be a show on YouTube or Facebook. Mike is not in. He does, he has that software. We're not doing it that way. You have to get the iHeart app and you can listen. Or you can find it on iTunes afterwards once I figure out. Well, I know how to put that up, but it takes me a little bit of time. More videos to come on the YouTube channel, so be looking for that. While we do this, the next time I do this, I'm going to try to bring Les in so Les can talk or someone else can talk with me and do an update. But more videos coming. We appreciate everything you guys do, listening and supporting us and everything. So that's why we want you to make sure you get those prize packs. So do us a favor. We want you to subscribe to the channel. More importantly than that, get the free tackle. Because if you don't get it, Boudreaux gets it. And then it'll never get used. That's the truth. So private message us. I can do it the video side, but Mike has all the equipment. So... Facebook.com slash Fishing Florida. Then Saltwater is the first hour. Yes, you're right. So that's so, uh, so we have Facebook.com slash Fishing Florida. Also, email us, info at Fishing Florida Radio. Just say you saw one of the videos and you want some of the prize packs. If you want the dart spins or the other stuff, mention those. If you want a sticker, mention that too. Guys, have a great night. I hope you listen. I hope you guys are. You want to know if you're not listening, make sure you're fishing. You want to know, just do that. Of course, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thanks for watching. We really do appreciate everything you guys do. Later, guys.